Good afternoon, my wild and beautiful friends. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're using all the veggies to make a super simple, really delicious Thai peanut zucchini noodle dish. Keep on watching and see how I make it. Alrighty guys, first things first, you're gonna need some spiralized zucchini. You can do it yourself really easily or you can buy it pre-noodled if you will. I just spiralized five medium zucchinis here. I've got them in a colander and I'm salting them a little bit and moving them around with my hands. And we're gonna let this sit in the sink while we make everything else to kind of let those juices pull out from the zucchini and break down a, a bit of the fibrousness. I think that's a technical term. <laughs> so they're a little bit more noodly like and not just a raw zucchini. When I spiralize any vegetable, I love giving the little middle parts to Olive. She loves them as a snack. Mm -hmm. Mm. Can't see ya. <laughs> so while our zucchini juices are kind of draining off in the sink, I'm going to prep the rest of our vegetables. I've got 10 ounces of cherry tomatoes here. I'm just going to cut them in half so they're a little, they're a little bit more bite size. This recipe is so perfect for garden season. I can't wait to use it on all our fresh vegetables, but this totally can work in the winter as a nice fresh option to kind of get a lot of veggies in your tummy. I just added a bunch of cilantro that I chopped up pretty roughly, and then a quarter of a red cabbage, quarter of a red cabbage, if I could spit it out, chopped thinly. And then I'm gonna get going with some carrots. And my favorite way to do that is just to take a vegetable peeler. I just washed these really well and scrubbed them. I didn't peel them at all. I'm just gonna go through and use our vegetable peeler and make these kind of ribbon noodle like strips. And it's gonna give us a whole other texture and different kind of crunch which is one of the things I love about this salad. It's just so vibrant and full of textures. I've got an entire bunch of green onion here. I'm gonna reserve a few just to garnish with at the end. When I say all the veggies, I truly mean all the veggies. This is jam packed with colorful, nutrient dense vegetables. So, so good for you and so delicious. So all of our veg are ready. I'm gonna get going on our super simple Thai peanut sauce. I've got an entire container of organic creamy peanut butter here. One of the wonderful things about this sauce is you can make this big batch and you can use it for the whole salad or you can use less of it and reserve the sauce to dip in for pot stickers or whatever else you'd like. It's super versatile. So I'm making a big batch here. Whole can of peanut butter and I've got one entire serrano pepper. I'm gonna put seeds in and all. I'd start with one pepper and if it's not quite spicy enough for you you can definitely add more but this seems to work for me and it's not too crazy spicy and then to that we're going to pour in half of a cup of low sodium soy sauce i like to use a low sodium it kind of controls the saltiness factor a little bit better for me and then i've got some fresh ginger here about the size of my thumb i'd say ish <laughs> Again, you can start out light and then add more as you taste it. This is kind of a guideline for how this recipe works. You don't have to go exact by any means. Make it how you like it. I'm also gonna add in the juice of one whole lime before we start blending up, and then we're gonna kind of tweak things as we go with flavors. So this is our base part of the recipe. Then I'm just gonna slowly blend it on the lowest speed until it all starts to break up and come together into this dough-like consistency. Once we're here, which takes maybe like 30 seconds, I'm gonna start to slowly add water until it becomes creamy and light and almost pourable. I almost forgot, you don't wanna forget this ingredient because it's what really makes it, because you all know I'm obsessed with garlic. I added a clove of garlic, a large clove of garlic, just chopped up a little bit. And then I just kept blending and adding water about two tablespoons at a time until I got this luxurious, creamy, pourable mixture. I decided to add a teaspoon of sugar. Normally I'd add agave, but I didn't have it. So this did the trick in a pinch and a bit of pepper to taste. And we are good to toss everything together and have this lovely vegetable salad. So there's our zucchini noodles. I'm just gonna add about a third of our Thai peanut mixture here. Nice and creamy and spicy and fresh with that lime and ginger. Guys, this is such a good meal. You could totally meal prep this too. It just gets better as it sits in the fridge. So I'm going to very awkwardly try to toss this with a single <laughs> wooden spoon until I smarten up and grab some tongs, which I believe will happen momentarily here. 
There we go. Now we're tossing with some intention. <laughs> so then we're just going to slowly add in the zucchini noodles and more sauce to our liking. Use as much or a little of it as you would like and definitely taste test along the way. I want this to be a dish that you really enjoy. So add more salt and pepper if you'd like. Garlic powder also helps. You can even add a bit more sugar if you just want it to be a little bit more sweet. That's my entire intention with all of my videos to help you make something that you really enjoy. So my recipe is just a starting point. You do you and make it exactly how you'd like it. This recipe especially is really hard to mess up. It's just so delicious and fresh, no matter which way you cut it or toss it, haha, <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> so now we're getting those softened zucchini noodles in there. I'm gonna toss it all together again, maybe add a little bit more sauce, like I said. And then at the very end, before we serve it, my favorite thing to do is add some fresh nuts. So I've got some roasted salted cashews here. I really love raw cashews as well, or almonds or walnuts will work just fine. Pine nuts also really good. Just adds a nice little salty crunch to make it even more of a savory and filling dish. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to make this recipe with garden vegetables. And bonus side note, this is like the perfect dish to bring on a picnic. It doesn't have any of those mayo type ingredients that could go icky in the sun or the heat, but it has a creaminess to it that is just so delicious and satisfying. And you get the added bonus of all the colorful nutrients in all of these veggies. I promise you're gonna love this. You're not gonna miss the noodles either. The zucchini really does the trick. I hope that you guys love this recipe as much as I do. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're all staying safe and healthy and I can't wait to talk to you soon. Cheers.